Zehn. Because tonight will be the night. Was gooding ten. What's Goodington Road? Oh, where's my where's my blighter at? Money flying out my bag. Wilding out, baby. Wilding out, baby. Which poppin'? Which poppin', my peoples? Ace Boogie, which poppin'? Big Dice, what up? Louis V. League 187, which poppin'? What's good? What's good? I got a cold, man. I got a cold, so I'm tight under the weather. I'm sounding crazy. You heard, but that ain't stopping me from being outside. You heard? Or the mother. Oh, yeah, man. Peace, peace, peace. El Torres was proper. October night, appreciate you. Yeah, I got a bullshit cold, man. Shit ain't really slowing me down. Just got me a little bit congested, a little bit stuffy head and shit my daughter came and spread that to the whole team you heard but i'm straight though <clears throat> she ain't stopping that trom she ain't stopping me from blowing that trom down come on bro you going light or is you going to ignite New Orleans in the building was popping. Lou Boy, what up? Yes, yeah, sir. That Godfather of Harlem is official. That shit is official tissue, baby. Or like my man say, official like a ref with a whistle. That shit official like a ref with a whistle. Katie K was populated. Greg Johnson was really hood. <coughs> yeah, man. I shit a little bit under the weather. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I'll be all right, though. I'll be all right, baby. I'll be all right, baby. Yersk. I got the wrong weed to have a cold, though. Smoking that pink runts right now. That shit is super strong. Shit, your head feel like it's about to explode. Ace Boogie, I appreciate that snow nation, my brother. Appreciate you. Trust me, I need it right now, nigga. My bread fucked up. I need all them donations, nigga. Yurch. Our bread is diet right now. Nigga got diet, getting diet bread right now. Got to step my life up. Yurch. Swaggy Stewart was popping. Glock Picasso was really good. Cuts and slices was popping. I see y'all about to open up another location. That's what up. If y'all niggas is in BK and y'all trying to, <clears throat> y'all want some crazy pizza, go to Cuts and Slices. You heard they got the oxtail slice. That shit different. You know, I'm a vegetarian, but I still respect that oxtail slice. If I wasn't a vegetarian, I'd be fucking that oxtail slice up. I'm going to keep it real with you. But if you a real oxtail fan, go try that oxtail slice that cuts and slices in BK. You're sh and a whole bunch of other slices. Oxtail slice be looking crazy, baby. 
shit be looking crazy. It's a full moon out this bitch. Dirt. Nah, I never seen that Masters of Horror shit. Shit, man, I know some niggas so deep in the game, them niggas eat cow cock soup and all of that. Niggas be eating that cow cock soup and all of that, you heard? Balls and all of that, man. Niggas be heavy deep in the game with it, you heard? When you eating balls and cocks and shit, you deep in the game, nigga. You Jeffrey Dahmer status with it. Niggas be eating that, 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 that cow cock soup. Even though cows don't have cocks, but um, <coughs> that cow cock soup, nigga, they be eating that shit, to, saying that shit make you blow broads backs out. Word up. Nah, niggas be eating that cow cock. Damn, bro. My shit on live, I'ma have to hit let me tell the bro. Let me hit the bro. I should have got some number though, man. Damn. Let me let me let me message this bro and, and be right back. Hold on. Yeah, man. Yeah, but yeah, I know that shit. I've been heard that shit. That oxtail is just a cow's tail. You know what I mean? Cows is only females. So you feel what I'm saying? They can slice them shits up. The bulls is what mate with cows. And if you do the research, cows is not even cows is cows is grafted. Cows is GMO. Niggas made cows. Crossbreed, they're crossbreed between a uh what the fuck is their crossbreed between? Uh, 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 a water a water buffalo and a um I can't remember what the other animal is, but if you look it up, you'll find out. A, cr a cow is a crossbreed between a water buffalo and something else. Them shits are not even really original animals on this planet, and that's a fact. And how you could tell which animals is GMO and which animals is organic, GMO animals, you gotta feed them niggas. You have to feed them niggas. Like, you have to teach them how to eat. You gotta take them to eat. Real organic animals, they know where to go eat. They know what they eat. You understand what I'm saying? Cows, you got to take them shits out to graze. You got to bring them out like, yo, here, sit, get over here and eat. They'll never do that shit for themselves. They will never go out and find the food for themselves. That's how you know them shits is GMO'd out. But, you know, it's a flip side to that coin. You got places like India that I read about. You know, if I'm not mistaken, like cows kind of single handedly save their whole economy. You feel me? So, you know, everything that people make on the planet is not bad. Like that, we get a bad rap for that. Like, yo, that's man made. Like, what are we supposed to be on this planet for thousands of years and we don't never do nothing? Like, we don't never come up with nothing? Like, you feel what I'm saying? Niggas gonna make a couple of fruits and vegetables, nigga. Niggas been here for thousands and thousands of years. You understand what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? So anything man-made ain't necessarily bad, man. P-worthy, peace. Sean John, what's that? What's that that tastes good, bro? Pause. J-Rag, J what's poppin'? I don't be liking the fuck with stories on live, man, because the audio be too bad, man. You tell a story, then I go back and listen to that shit. That shit like, and all that dumb shit. I be mad. Word up. Yesterday, though, I was walking through the streets, right? I was walking through the streets and shit. I see this Jamaican nigga. Nigga, on a, nigga trying to ride a mountain bike. Nigga, dumb drunk. Nigga, dumb drunk. I'm like, what is this nigga doing? Like, he gets on a mountain bike. He try to take two, three pedals. Falls over in the middle of the street. Boom! Nigga falls on the ground, all type of shit fly out his pocket. 
I'm like, now, should I mind my business or should I help this nigga up? So I go over to the dude. I'm like, yo, what's up, man? You all right, man? You want me to help you up? So he's so twisted. He like, uh, yeah, man, help me up. So I was like, all right, come on, man. Let me help you up. I grabbed dude by both his arms and I lifted him up. Son had the mad Jamaican ratchet in his pocket. You know them knives at the real ratchet, Jamaican ratchet knife? Nigga had a big stupid ratchet in his pocket. I was like, this nigga think he in Kingston. You heard? I told that nigga, man, don't try to ride that bike again, my nigga. Just walk that shit. I said, where you going, man? He's like, I'm going to the train station on Gun Hill. I was over there by Gun Hill. I said, all right, man, walk that shit, man. Walk that shit. Don't try to ride that mountain bike again, because the next time, you might bust your whole shit open. Your shit would be a wrap. Word the mother. Son was bugging, trying to ride a mountain bike with a big-ass box on it. Like he was trying to carry some big-ass box. Nigga had a box on a mountain bike trying to ride that shit. Nigga drunk as fuck. What Jamaicans be drinking, man? I forgot what they drink. What's that Jamaican rum? I forgot what that shit is called. But them niggas be drinking some shit. Niggas said they be drinking that Appleton. Yeah, them shits ain't gonna sell if a nigga call them shits cowtails. They ain't gonna they ain't gonna move out the unit. The units ain't gonna move calling them shits, yo, you want some cowtails? And let me tell you something, man. Like I told y'all niggas before. Oxtails is expensive as a motherfucker, nigga. Like when my wife was pregnant last time, she was anytime my wife was pregnant, she turned to a savage meat eater. And then after the pregnancy, she go back to being a vegetarian. Or pescatarian, you feel me? But when she get that pregnancy, once that pregnancy hit, she turned into a savage Trinidadian living in the motherfucking mountains with a hut. She turned into the savage. The savage come out of her, my nigga. She start fricasseeing up them chicken feet. You heard? But her oxtail game, that's all she want to eat, my nigga. When she pregnant, with a baby. And I don't play games with shit like that because the body communicates with you when you're pregnant. Like, this is what I need. And there's a certain chemical and vitamin. I forgot what it is, but you can look it up. It's a certain chemical and vitamin that's in oxtail that's heavy in oxtail. So if your broad is craving it, it may be something in that fetal development that's telling her brain, yo, get that vitamin if you want this child to be developed the correct way so they crave what they crave. Niggas say cravings is fake and all that, that's bullshit. You understand what I'm saying? Baby want that tail, nigga. My wife be wanting that tail. You heard? We had to go get that tail up. That shit be about 30 cash a pack. That shit ain't no joke, nigga. That shit be like 30 cat, like no exaggeration. That shit be 25 cash for, for a decent pack of oxtails, a chunky, nice pack of oxtails. That shit be 25 cash. You ain't getting them shits for cheap. You can forget about that shit. That's why when you go to them Jamaican restaurants, nigga, they real light-handed with them tails. You be mad as a motherfucker when you get the oxtail meal. You got to get the large one to be satisfied. If you think you're going to get a small order of oxtails and rice and peas, you got something coming, nigga. They throwing about two of them tails in there. They going to throw about two, three of them tails up in there, nigga. You going to be mad. That shit gonna have mad. That shit gonna be. That shit gonna have mad rice and peas. The whole thing gonna be rice and peas. Shit gonna be dumb heavy. All that shit rice and peas. You gonna have three tails on your shit with some gravy, a couple of vegetables, with some coleslaw on the side. Straight up, niggas give you about five pounds of rice and three oxtails, nigga. Hold that. So when you go to a Jamaican restaurant. You want oxtail? Just buy the large oxtail, bro. Because if you try to be skimpy and get a small order, trust me, they're going to be straining them tails out one at a time like this. If one fall in your shit by mistake, they're going to scoop that shit out your plate and put it back in the pot like this. It's only getting the $8 one. 
He's getting only the eight dollar one. They gonna put that shit right back, nigga. You gotta get the fourteen dollar one if you want about six seven, six seven, about six seven with them good tails. You heard? You gotta get that extra large order, nigga. Or them tails gonna be light. My moms used to make oxtails back in the days. I used to hate that shit. You know how regular black people make oxtails with the tomato sauce, the rice, and the lima beans and shit. My step pops be murdering that shit, nigga. You heard? That nigga don't run the streets when them tails is on the stove. And my moms, if he called, my moms be like, yeah, I made them tails. That nigga be in the crib, nigga, eight o'clock. You heard? I used to be like, yo, you made oxtails. She used to have me mad. I eat one or two. You feel me? Nigga, I got locked up. I was in jail. All I could think about was them tails. So wow, you gotta appreciate your parents cooking because nigga, you be in a can, all I was thinking about was them tails. I'm like, damn, I ain't even fuck with them shits in the streets like that. Now them shits on my mind. I'm like, yo, I need some tails. And then, turkey wings too. My moms make turkey wings. I used to be mad as a motherfucker. I come in outside, we, live, we was living in the Ville. I'd be like, what you made? She'd be like, turkey wings with rice and corn. I'd be like, come on, man, with them fucking big ass rubber turkey wings you heard nigga got in that can i was like god damn i need my mom's turkey wings with some good rice the baked turkey wings with rice and, and corn oh my god oh lord jesus and i'm a vegetarian and i'ma still call out jesus name nigga them turkey wings them shits be different my i'm gonna keep it real with you bro my mom's my mom's baked chicken, baked chicken and turkey wing game is on a whole, is on, is on a catering level, my nigga. Like niggas say, I know everybody said about their moms, but I'm keeping it real. My mom's chicken was world renowned in Howard Projects. Any nigga that ever came to my crib will tell you my mom's chicken game is world renowned. World renowned. And her potato salad game, world renowned. I'm telling you, bro. My mom's is the family member that makes the potato salad for the family. You feel what I'm saying? But son, I gotta tell this story too, man. I gotta tell this story too, man. I ain't get. To, I'ma tell it. I'ma tell it around Christmas. It's called baked chicken legs. That's the name of the story. It's, going, it's called Big Chicken Legs and the Sweaty Boots. You heard? So if it starts slipping my mind, make sure y'all make sure y'all remind me. Big Chicken Legs and the Sweaty Boots. That's the name of my Christmas story that I'm telling. It's going to be crazy. Watch. I got a monster story. I should tell that shit now. But I'm going to wait till the um, Christmas directions go up. Um, Decorations go up in Midtown, and I'm gonna walk around Midtown with the Christmas decorations and tell a story, nigga. Baked chicken legs and the sweaty boots. Them shit, that story is coming, nigga. Christmas, a Christmas story for, from St. Laz. Straight up, nigga. I can't wait to tell that shit. Yeah, my Negroids. Like I said, son, I'm a vegetarian, and sometimes I still get a craving for some motherfucking turkey wings. I'm, the way my moms make them shit, son, she baked them shits to death till the meat be falling off the bone on them shits, my nigga. And, and some onion, like she makes some onion sauce juice. She baked that shit in some onion juice, black pepper. Son, that shit be, cr oh man, them Turks, them Turkish, the motherfucking Turkish cuisines. I was in the can like, damn, nigga, you you never miss the water till the well runs dry, nigga, and that's a motherfucking fact. I went to the can, nigga. I said, when I come home, nigga, I'ma moiter some turkey wings. Moited them. I be telling my wife, she be like, yo, I, I, I couldn't eat that. I said, all right. One day I'm gonna make my moms make some turks for you when you pregnant or something, and you gonna be like this. Oh my God. Them caramelized onions on them bitches. 
them caramelized onions on them bitches with that motherfucking black pepper? Listen, nigga. Y'all niggas' Negro game ain't up the way my shit is up, nigga. Wait till New Year's when I make my black IP. My black IP game is notorious. You heard? My black IP game, nigga? Watch, nigga. I be fucking some black eyed peas up with rice, some black, some black eyed peas, rice and turkey wings. Oh, you don't understand, son. You don't understand. That niggas, that niggas black game is light. Son, listen, turkey wings with rice and black eyed peas. That shit be, that shit be extravagant. I'm telling you, I fuck some black eyed peas up. I fuck them shits up. And that ain't me trying to front like, you know, niggas be trying to front like they mad blacks because they like black eyed peas. No, brother. I will fuck some black eyed peas up, nigga. Them shits is delicious. You heard? In fact, they're so delicious, I only want to eat them once a year. And that's on New Year's. But I'm going to tell you, son, even Spanish style is a way to make that shit Spanish style black eyed peas. Son, them shits is delicious, son. But I be making them shits myself sometimes. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Fricassee. And I don't make it the... See, when you make it the stew way on the pot, that's the once a year. But sometimes you could just throw some black eyed peas in a stir fry, whip it like a stir fry. You heard? You heard? And stir fry them bitches up, season them bitches up. Listen, nigga. Eat them shits with some rice and some veggie chicken. Should be the differential, my nigga. Same thing with vegetarian beans. You know, the vegetarian beans are straight penitentiary shit, nigga. But I fucks vegetarian beans up, nigga. You take them shits out the can. You get all that sweet ass sauce off of that shit. Rinse that shit off. Throw that shit back up in the pot. With some motherfucking scotch bonnet. With some scotch bonnet pepper, my nigga. You throw the scotch bonnet with that mother with the motherfucking vegetarian beans, the sweet and the fiery hot. Oh my god. Stir fry them shits up, nigga. You leave a little bit of the sweet sauce. A little bit of the sweet sauce. With the motherfucking scotch bonnet. Chop up an onion real small. Fricassee that shit up, nigga. Listen, nigga, them vegetarian beans. Me and my son Hamo. Me and my nigga Hamo from Van Dyke. Son. Niggas make that banquet fried chicken. Up north, they had the banquet fried chicken. You know, we 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 violating. We refrying that shit. You heard? Like, niggas supposed to throw that shit in the microwave? Nah, son. We refrying that banquet chicken so it could be crispy and hot. You understand what I'm saying? We refry that motherfucking banquet chicken, nigga. They had the two kind. They had the original, and then they had the, like, country spice or some shit like that. We had them both, nigga. We mixed that shit up. Half country spice, half original. Fry that shit up with some yellow rice and some vegetarian, spicy vegetarian beans. Oh my god. And I used to make motherfucking festivals up north, like Jamaican shits, the fried shits that's paws look like a, you know what I mean? I used to make them shits up north. I used, we used to call them sweet biscuits. But niggas used to be on my back for them shits. Yo, son, you making them shits tonight? Facts. Right, yellow rice, vegetarian beans with the festivals and the fried banquet chicken. Listen, nigga, we was, we was eating right, nigga. We was violating, I'm going to keep it real with you. Niggas was violating, son. Niggas was eating a box of rice each, son. Niggas was making two boxes of rice. Niggas bowl be a box of rice and a half a box of banquet chicken with a can of beans each, my nigga. That's why niggas be up north like this, son. That's why niggas be coming home 300. Niggas was eating a box of rice to the head, son. Word to my mother, niggas was savages. Sometimes a half a box of rice when it was rough. But when niggas got it, man, make two boxes of that shit, nigga. Two cans of beans, whole box, whole whole box of chicken. That's dinner. Niggas eating whole. Niggas had them bowls, them deep bowls. You know them up north bowls. Niggas be having them up north Tupperware bowl. My shit was deep dish, nigga. My shit was deep dish, nigga. Nigga got a whole box of river rice in that bitch like this. I was the type of nigga, I, I even laced river rice, my nigga. Facts. Because I cook for real, for real. You heard? So, niggas be like, yo, that river rice is trash. Not when LAZ make it. I know how to make that shit, nigga. But if you put too much water in that river rice, nigga, that shit that come in the yellow box, 
Nigga, you eating grits. You put too much water in that shit, you eating grits, nigga. And that's a fact. Yeah, that cauliflower. That cauliflower shit, man, they be ODing with it. Like, I'm going to keep it real with you, though. Cauliflower buffalo wings is this restaurant that I be ordering. I don't know what the name of this restaurant is, but they deliver to my, around my way. I be ordering some motherfucking cauliflower buffalo wings them niggas got. Bro, and I tell you, them shits are delectable. When I first got them, I was like, yo, I'm not a big fan of this cauliflower shit. So let me taste one of these shits. Son, them shits was ex them shits was spectacular. So now anywhere I see cauliflower buffalo wings, I buy them shits, bro. Niggas have no idea how good cauliflower buffalo wings is, nigga. But they be ODing with the cauliflower mashed potatoes, all of that. You know, it's rough. But I don't OD on rice. I don't eat rice often. <clears throat> see, some niggas eat rice every day. I can't do that, bro. I eat rice every every few mi every three or four meals. I'll have some rice. You feel me? I can't. I'm not a big. I can't eat rice every fucking day like that. You understand what I'm saying? Straight up. That shit is sugar. But now that I don't fuck with sugar products, like I don't buy donuts and sodas. Now that I don't do that, you know. When I eat rice, it ain't that much sugar in my diet because I don't eat no other sugars like that no more. You feel me? Hey, once in a while, you know, I cheat and have like a fucking, uh, I, the only thing I'll cheat with is some dark chocolate almonds. Dark chocolate is good for you. Almonds are great for you. So the combination of them bitches, I got a heavy almond diet, my nigga. They said, I, they said if you eat six almonds a day, you'll never get sick. And here I am sniffling. But they mean real sicknesses, like serious sicknesses. They say almonds keep away real serious sicknesses. You understand what I'm saying? I don't know how true it is, but I eat those almonds and I make my kids eat mad almonds. You heard? Almonds and what's the other shit? Um, apples, my nigga. That saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away, that's not a saying for no reason, son. Apple got some, apples got some shit in it that's very healthy for you. You feel me? So when you busting the motherfucking apples down, that shit is good for your health. So I be trying to eat them apples too, son. The green shits, the green apples clean your liver out like a motherfucker. That's why they so sour. Mostly a lot of things that sour and bitter is good for your liver. So I be getting them sour ass green apples. I be eating them shits. Eat about 20 fucking almonds. You heard? I be, try I be trying, baby. That's all I could do out here. But word up, man. Yeah, I be fucking with that honey too. I be fucking with that honey bun and that lemon. Word. Word of mother. Nigga said BBQs be trying to get niggas turkey wings. You could taste the turkey wing though, man. My nigga Blur in the building. Salute. I see you, my bro. Broke, so don't ask what's populating. JE was really good. <laughs> he said his pops do the turkey wings and white wine sauce. That's different. Yeah, but there's a way you gotta cook them shits right, man. Turkey wings, man. You gotta bake them shits. You gotta bake them shits to smithereens, my nigga, because they thick and pulpy. So it ain't, you can't kick, bake them shits for an hour. You got to bake them shits to smithereens. A turkey wing. You feel what I'm saying? Some niggas be out there trying to deep fry whole turkeys. Y'all niggas be bugging out. Niggas trying to deep fry whole turkeys, burning their whole country down. Niggas be burning their whole town down, fucking with them, fucking with trying to deep fry a turkey, nigga. Leave that shit alone. Niggas be trying to stick a big ass turkey down in a deep fryer. Chill, Lord. Niggas taking the frying thing too far. Nigga deep frying a whole turkey. Straight up. Let's get it, bro. Let's get it. Let's get it. My nigga Blur, let's get it, bro. I know you got some crazy stories yourself. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah, if you ain't... If you ain't watched that new story that's on the channel, 
the Decepticon versus Low Life fight. Now I mean the bro, right here that's in the chat room right now, Damon Turner. That's the bro Blur from the legendary Decepticons. You understand? That's the one he talking about. He had a fight within the story. You heard? So not only we be giving y'all exclusive stories, y'all get to y'all get to mingle with the actual dudes in the story, and you know it's real. You heard? So you know the story is real. Facts, bro. You gotta boil them shits. You might have to boil them shits first. Not even, I don't know about no 10, 20. You might have to boil them shits for like a half eat. Then throw them shits up in the joint. But if you bake the shit out them shits, like I'm talking about if you put them shits on like 350 for like an hour and a half and then turn them shits up to 400 for a half hour or 420 for a half hour, that's how you got to do it. You got to roast them shits, nigga. You got to roast them. Then you got to let them saute in the sauce so they baking and boiling at the same time. You heard? Like, they, the, 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 the water in there is so hot. The juice is so hot. It's soaking in that while it's baking. Nigga, a whole vegetarian giving niggas turkey wing recipes. <laughs> Nigga said my joints be coming off straight up. My mom shit, man. Them shits be, my mom shits be brazy. My moms be having the burn marks on them shits. My mom should take them shits out the oven and just be having the burn marks on the side of them shits. Little hairs. Niggas are savages. Little hairs that be on the turkey wing. Niggas be eating the shit out them little hairs. Keep it a hundred. Y'all niggas know goddamn well. Y'all see a hair on a turkey wing. Y'all eating that shit, nigga. When I ate meat, I ate it, bro. Pause. But I'm telling you, nigga. When I, when I did eat a turkey wing... I see a little hair on that shit, nigga. I look the other way like this. I don't see that. You heard? Nigga was a savage. Savage beast. Eat straight meat. You a greedy nigga if you like them hairs on your turkey wings. You like, man, leave them shits, nigga. Them shits is seasoning. Them shits be spiky and toasty from the oven. <laughs> Oh shit! Nigga was in the box up north missing them missing them turkey wing hair. It's like damn. I want one of them toasty hairs right now, nigga. That shit was wild. But yeah, man, my phone is about to die. Nah I mean, I just came in here to tap in. Might tap back in, nigga, because I'm in the streets tonight. You heard? I'm in the motherfucking streets tonight, baby. Dolo running around. Might film an episode of the Fat Vegetarian. That's what I'm doing down here. I came here to film an episode of the Fat Vegetarian, but I was so hungry that as soon as I pulled up, I seen a falafel stand. I said, yo, let me get one of those. Fucked up the whole Fat Vegetarian episode. You heard? So now I got to find something else and go back in again. I don't know what that's going to be, but I have an idea. But yeah, man, I'm going to holler at y'all dudes, man. Let me call, make this phone call, call this dude back. You know what I mean? I'm going to get back at y'all dudes, man. You feel me? I'm tight. They ain't approved. I got two videos. I got, I got a crazy joint waiting for approval right now. Them niggas ain't approved. They don't be approving shit on no Saturdays, bro. I got that first episode of Coney Island Chronicles ready to go, man. That shit crazy. That shit crazy in street. You heard? I roll dolo from state to state. Nigga says, is that that nigga? Is that that nigga? I feel bad, man. It was, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was having a slight conversation with this old white dude that I think he sound like he from, I don't know where he's from, but he sounds somewhere foreign. He's having a nice little conversation. He just walked by, heard me say, is that that nigga? He looked like he was about to say something to me. Then he heard me say, Is that that nigga? And that nigga just looked the other way and kept it moving. I said, Damn, man. I had something thinking I was civilized for a second. Little do he know I'm saying shit like, I rolled dolo from state to state. That nigga won't know what I'm talking about if I just come up to that nigga and be like, I rolled dolo 
Word, I want some artichoke pizza right now. They got that, 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 that. I gotta do artichoke again, cause they got that vodka slice. Many feet, sissy bone. That motherfucking vodka slice, my nigga? That's the best slice they got. That's my new favorite slice now, the vodka slice. First it was the artichoke, then it went to the margarita. Now, my favorite slice is the artichoke. For those seafood lovers out there, they also have a crab slice. And that shit be looking insane. And it's real crab, not imitation crab. You heard? But anyway, man, I'm sign out, man. I'm screaming back at y'all dudes. You heard? I might even drop an episode of The Fat Vegetarian tonight. That's a fact. That is a fact. So be on the lookout. Peace.